Here we are again. Another day, another great leap forward with SDL Trotto Studio. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to open files in Trotto Studio to translate them. To do that, I'm going to navigate to the file that I want to work on today. It's down in my sugar folder. And I will simply right click on the file and go down to the SDL Trados Studio 2009 submenu and select Open Documents. Now why that's documents plural I don't understand. We're only selecting one document. It automatically launches Trados. I'm given an opportunity to set the source and target languages. In this case, it's actually an English source file. So I'll select English United States and the target language for my translation will be German. And I will use, well, maybe I won't use that. Oh well, another day. And here we are. As you can see, the SDL Trados interface in 2009 sort of uses WYSIWYG display for the fonts. I find this a little bit disturbing. Here, for example, I really don't need sugar to be quite that big to translate. And if we look down in segment five, hmm, can you read the fine print? I can't. Oh well, I guess the customer will just get it untranslated. So let's go ahead and save the file. This will make an SDL XLIF file for us. And here we see that an SDL XLIF extension has been added to the tab. And let's go ahead and close the file. Okay, uh, you may notice that there is actually more stuff created here. A folder for files on a project and then an SDL project file. Uh, I don't actually want those. All I wanted was the SDL XLIF. So I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to double click on the SDL XLIF file to open Trados once again. And there we are. So we translate for a little while and save the file. And quit once again. Oh dear. And here we have them once again. This extra junk that Trados likes to create and dump in the folder along with your SDLXLIF file. Hmm. Let's have a quick look and see what this file would look like if I opened it in MemoQ.
Now in MemoQ I'll have to import this file in an existing project because unfortunately I cannot open the file directly from the folder. Let's go open my English demo project. and import the file. Let's open it up. And here we can see that the font used for the display in the translation grid is uniform. That makes it a little bit easier to work. Okay, here we see a small problem with the display of the font. Let's have a look at how that is in Trados. In Trados, we can see that the Sanskrit font is rendered correctly. That's good. Let's look a little further. Here's the empirical formula for sucrose. Let's see how that looks in Trados. Right. Well, I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Okay. Here we seem to have a sentence broken up. Let's have a look and see how that is in Trados. Okay, here we can see that Trados handles the line breaks better than MemoQ does. Segment 13 here keeps the sentence together. And in MemoQ we would deal with this by joining the segments like this. Okay, so now we can see how this PowerPoint file looks in both environments. I do find it useful to have the preview available in MemoQ, although its behavior is sometimes a little bit quirky. All right, enough play. Now I'll get to work. Oh yes, one more thing. To deal with this display problem with the Sanskrit font, we can go to the Tools menu, to Options, select Appearance, and here we're going to change the font in the translation grid to a Unicode font. Arial Unicode MS, for example. Click OK, and now we see that the Sanskrit word is displayed correctly.